Hi everyone, it's Rosie from Talking About BPD and today I wanted to talk about getting a dog. So I didn't strictly get a dog. I moved in with my boyfriend uh, around a month and a half ago and he has a dog and he got her around a year ago and I was very much part of the process of choosing her and looking after her and bringing her up so to speak. Um, but I have to say the whole process of moving in and gaining a dog full time in my life has been quite overwhelming and I just wanted to share my experiences of having a dog and getting a dog, a puppy, to see if anyone can relate or if you've experienced anything similar with your BPD and pets. I know from different things that I've read and people I've talked to that animals and pets can be a really massive help for BPD. Specifically, um, they can be really comforting, um, even just having something so warm and cosy and soft can be really, really soothing. And that's certainly something I find with my dog, that she's so kind and caring and when I'm sad and I cry, she comes up to me and you know, she's almost asking me like, what's wrong? Are you okay? And she's really, really nurturing in that respect, which is so cute and sweet. However, she has caused me quite a lot of challenges for my BPD in that even when we got her in the beginning, in the early days, I was so worried that she didn't like me. <laughs> and it actually makes me laugh because I always think it's so funny that Normally my BPD is limited to humans and how I feel about human to human interaction but getting a dog and bringing her into kind of like the fold and the family so to speak, I was worried that she didn't really like me and that she wasn't going to warm to me and I had quite a bit of BPD around. Um, she's there just making some cute little noises. <laughs> um, yeah, she doesn't really want to appear on camera though. I tried to lift her up, but she she wasn't having any of it. So I'm just leaving her to sleep down there. Um, but yeah, I was just so worried initially on what was she thinking about me? Did she love me? Was she gonna like me? Da da da. And of course, over time she got to know me and she was, you know, really, really warming to me. But I just thought it was interesting to point out that my BPD is not limited to humans. It actually spans into the animal world as well. Um, when we moved into this new flat together, me and my boyfriend and the dog, I was just quite overwhelmed with responsibility. I felt like, oh my goodness, I have a creature to care for, can I do it? I don't know if I can cope with her. You know, there are challenges, she goes in the garden, she digs, she gets covered in mud, we have to wash her, we have to um, get the towel and rub her. And it's just sometimes so overwhelming. Um, she went through this quite rebellious teenage phase where she was barking in the night trying to come into our bedroom. And as you can imagine, that created quite a lot of panic for me because I was worried about how my sleep would be affected. Um, I was quite scared about getting moody about it and then how that would affect my relationship. And of course, it's been absolutely fine. And you know, after a few days of quite intensive training, um, which I did a pretty good job with, she stopped doing those behaviours with the barking in the night and the crying in the night and, um, you know, she settled into the new home really, really well. Um, but yeah, it just got my mind thinking about pets, you know, often people talk about how pets are really soothing for mental health problems and it's something I find um, to be true. However, on the flip side, I also find the responsibility quite overwhelming and I think it's something that I'm still getting used to. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts, um, love to hear your experiences if you've got a pet and how you found it.